Welcome to another edition of What We're Looking For, brought to you by Red River Outfitter, the Texas Tech fans' fave since 1975. I'm Jared Johnson, and I'm joined by the Mighty Joe Yeager. All right, Mighty Joe, Texas Tech versus Kansas State, 11 a.m. in Manhattan, Kansas. Another big test against another ranked opponent, number 25, Kansas State. So what are you looking for, Mighty Joe? I'm looking for a barn burner yeah. is what I'm looking for, man. I, th I really... Uh, Really believe this one's going to go straight down to the wire. Uh, I believe it's going to come down to whoever's got the ball last. Wow. You know, one one team has got to make a stop. The other team's got to score. Wow. You know, I believe it's going to be that sort of game. So, um, you know, uh, buckle up uh, and, and expect everything to go down in the fourth quarter because uh, I really believe these are a couple of evenly matched teams uh, coming in there. Uh, a couple of good teams. Uh, K-State is ranked. Texas Tech, if they beat K-State, stands a pretty good chance of getting ranked, ranked yeah. themselves because they're 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 getting some uh, traction in that regard as well. So, uh, you know, I'm just expecting uh, one heck of a battle, and uh, we're all going to be sweating buckshot for the entire distance. No doubt. And, man, another exciting game. I don't know if our old hearts can take all this every week in and week out. Another ranked opponent. Sounds like, you know, Mighty Joe, you, you usually nail these. Uh, I think you've gotten the closest on scores uh, so far through four games. So. If it's like Monty Joe said, if it plays out that way, then man, we're all due for uh, one step away from going to the hospital. Exactly, Sanford and Son. Yeah, uh, but no, what I'm looking for is a spy or multiple spies uh, on Adrian Martinez and how that's going to affect uh, Texas Tech's uh, scheme. Uh, whether it be Christian Merriweather, who had another great performance last week, of course, forced that fumble in overtime. Uh, or one of the safeties like a Muddy Waters yeah. or somebody like the, the Daydream Kosai Taylor, Eldridge, Kosai Eldridge, yes. And it may switch. It may not be the same. You know, it probably wouldn't be the same guy. So uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out. But I think Martinez is a guy worthy of dedicating someone because if not, I mean, you saw Hudson Carr shake loose for a couple of runs and he, you know, supposedly had a bad wheel. So Adrian Martinez, he's shown, he did it against Oklahoma. When the pocket breaks down or if there's a running lane open, he can just gash you with his legs and really hurt you. So I'm looking for some kind of concept, some kind of spy concept or or how they're going to play. Tim DeRuiter, the defensive coordinator, is going to defend and play against Adrian Martinez because I feel like, I mean, Deuce Vaughn's going to do what Deuce Vaughn does. That guy's one of the just absolute best players in the Big 12, certainly one of the best running backs in the Big 12, maybe the country. And so there's only so much you're going to be able to do to him, in my opinion. Uh, he's going to get some of his. But if you can limit Martinez and not let him kill you with his legs, I feel like it's going to go a long way towards Texas Tech uh, pulling off another upset, another big win, and starting off 2-0 in the Big 12. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, especially if it plays out the way you say, Mighty Joe. But as always, man, great stuff from you. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.